Hi Trek fans, hi Albert, how you doing? And welcome to another Top Tips. And what we're gonna learn today is how to turn these remarkably boring barriers into something a little bit more interesting like this. So I think what we need to do is figure out what to do. So, no further ado. First thing to do is to go online. Go to eBay and find somebody that sells printed race stickers. They're really cheap, probably cost anywhere between six to 10 pounds, depending on what you get. Now be very careful because I bought some before and all you did was you peeled off this sticker. Whereas these ones that I bought is just one sheet. So I thought that was pretty bad. Look, just one sheet, incredible. So I thought, well, when there's a top tip to do, we could learn how to make barriers. So first thing to do, if you get one of these, is to cut out the piece you need. Nice and simple, Albert. If you're gonna use scissors, you need to get help from an adult. If you don't know if you're old enough or not, then simple. If you can spell the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, then you can use scissors. But if you can't, then go and get an adult to help. I think it's gonna be the way forward, guys. So then just literally, nice and slowly, cut these out. Lovely, there you go. <clears throat> oh, hello, I've just knocked the camera. Sorry about that. Camera A, let's call you camera A. That's it, so I'll put this out of the way. Trim this up nicely. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe a little trim on this bit. There we have it. Keep trimming, well done. So, and then we want to peel this back. Nice and easy, a bit like stickers, but if you collect any football stickers or collecting stickers, this is exactly the same thing. There you go, it's ready to go. Let's get our barrier. And then quite simply, you fix it to the barrier. Hold well on, just knock the camera. So give yourself a little bit of space. There you are and then just wipe it down like this with your finger. Perfect, it's looking good already. Like, look at this, right, let's do another one. So if you've got a white one here, it might be cool to get a color one or a darker one, um, just to give you a little bit of balance on your border or it'll just all seem a bit, bit weak, a bit white. Unless of course you work for a company or you own a company that has a white brand and you, <laughs> you want to just use that, then that's going to be different. So let's give this a trim. Here we go. Oh, need to trim this side. There you go. Right then, let's peel this away. Oh, I can never do this. Right, I'll try this end. Here we go, track fans. Albert, I need you here. This takes massive concentration. Ah, uh, here we go. Unless anyone's got a hack for uh, separating sticky tape from its backing, leave that in the comments, because that would be an amazing bit of help. Here we go. So putting the second bit on now, just spread that out nice and straight. There you go. Should we do one more, Albert? Come on in, just so you know you got the hang of it. Let's go for the mobile one. The mobile's good. Okay, here we are. So let's give that a little cut, like this. Now, I'd suggest that, you know, if you're a real enthusiast or you're very bit, bit arty, then you could use a uh, scalpel for this. But uh, to be honest with you, the scissors seem to be doing a good job and, and they're quite safe in the scheme of things. Start trying to use um, scalpel. Oof things could go wrong. So let's get this separated. Remember, if anyone's got a hack for this, put it in the comments. Okay, let's give it right back. Let's keep it neat. Right then, let's put this one on here. Step over 
lap what it's doing. There you go. And then keep going and be creative. And before you know it, you'll have a few of these. And then you will have a track where it looks, just looks a little bit more exciting, looks a bit more like the racetrack. Anyway, track fans, Albert, I'll leave you there. See you soon, guys.